Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqeel. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, on the inauguration of the 23rd Arabian Gulf Cup tournament. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Emir of Kuwait's patronization and hosting of the event is an initiative to support joint Gulf action. His Royal Highness congratulated His Highness on the return of Kuwaiti sports to the regional international sporting events, wishing all participants in the Cup success and to Kuwait further success in hosting the championship. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah on the inauguration of the 23rd Arabian Gulf Cup tournament held under the patronage of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Royal Highness praised Kuwait's successful organization of the event which reflects its ability to host major sporting events wishing all participating teams success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Jabir Al Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah, on the inauguration of the 23rd Arabian Gulf Cup tournament held under the patronage of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. His Royal Highness noted the efforts of the government authorities led by His Highness and the successful organization of the event, wishing Kuwait success. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomed the decision by the Parliament of the United Kingdom to approve a government order designating the Al Ashtar Brigades, the Wa'ad Allah Brigades, the Islamic Allah Brigades, the Imam Al Mahdi Brigades, the Al Haydariya Brigades, the Al Mukhtar Brigades, and the Hassam and Liwa Al Thawra groups as terrorist organizations. The Kingdom of Bahrain remains deeply concerned about the consistent threat posed by individuals linked to these groups seeking to undermine the safety and security of the Kingdom. The Kingdom of Bahrain commends the United Kingdom as the first NATO member country to prescribe these groups as terrorist organizations, noting that the order reflects the UK's government's long-standing commitment to combating terrorism and extremist ideologies on the global level. The Kingdom of Bahrain stresses the importance of continued collaboration between international partners to counter terrorism in all its forms, highlighting that global security can only be upheld through common strategic operational approaches. The Kingdom of Bahrain calls for the international community to follow the United Kingdom's responsible action and the fight against terrorism by prescribing these groups as terrorist organizations. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended yesterday the National Day celebrations held in the Halat al Naim in Halat al Sulta Youth Center. Upon arrival, His Highness was received by the Parliament Affairs Minister. Ghanem al Bu'ainin, Governor of Maharaq Salman bin Hindi, and other officials. His Highness welcomed the activities of Bahrain's young people to celebrate the kingdom's achievements and to focus on the country's development. He expressed pride in witnessing the initiatives Bahraini citizens have undertaken to celebrate Bahrain's national days and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed praised the Youth Center's members and management for the work they carry out in the kingdom and further efforts to organize an important event celebrating the National Day. The Assistant Undersecretary of Youth Organizations and Centers at the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Sagar bin Salman Al Khalifa, delivered a speech, praising His Highness's support for the efforts of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, noting its positive impact on young people's development. Sheikh Sagar praised the Halat al Naim and Halat al Sulta Youth Centers, which is one of the 35 youth centers in the kingdom. The Assistant Undersecretary also noted that youth centers have jointly organized almost 90 activities to celebrate National Day. With the support of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the support of the First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs has reached all of its annual strategic goals drawn up earlier this year. Commemorative gifts were presented to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman.